Hello, this is Manny Papamanos. I figured I'd show you the most common tools that I use with Maya. Uh, it'll also serve as a reference to myself because sometimes I tend to forget. So um, let's start with getting uh, one of these planes here or grids. Uh, the features I use mostly here at the top, uh, you can use multi-component and that will allow you to select polys, edges, polys like this with shift, uh, edges and or vertices and move them. Uh, mostly you want to, yeah, this is for object, this is for uh, vertices. Assuming you want to convert this to uh, an edge selection, simply hit control and select edge and that will convert it as such and then if you want to convert that to a poly just uh, hit control and select this icon here good so let's uh, let me show you the most uh, common tools that I personally use when I model multi cut actually let's look at symmetry we can ignore that for now selection constraint is something I use very often and mostly for edge loop or ring so I'll set myself on edge selection and selection constraint let me set that to edge loop or edge ring if I go as loop notice it will select the edge loops in parallel as such with shift you can select several of them and then uh, move them or duplicate them or extrude and stuff uh, if you select the other method, usually what you want to do pretty often is adding edge loops in between uh, like this edge and that edge let's say. So for that usually you want to select the edge ring and select that edge ring assuming and then select multi cut and uh, with shift, uh, control and shift, sorry, shift and control uh, selected, notice that you can now add edge uh, loops in there uh, which is pretty cool and it will move in increments of uh, a step of 10 as you can see here great the other tool that I use pretty frequently is uh, this one connect let's try it out so for this one first uh, yeah, for th uh, the multi cut here you don't need to have a pre-selected um, series of edges as you see here uh, for this one you don't need you can just uh, start right away with uh, shift or you can uh, arbitrarily add edges as such I can skip over here and if I'm happy with that um, result just hit enter which is kinda cool now for connect here uh, it works uh, in a slightly different kind of way uh, if I select my uh, edges and in edge ring mode as you can see here sorry I'm still in the multi cut uh, mode so let's assume I have this um, edge uh, ring selected you can now hit connect and middle mouse click will um, basically uh, change the value on the segments here notice so remember middle mouse drag to change that that's something I use pretty frequently um, probably oh yeah uh, one more thing I want to show let's assume I want to create a nice ramp here uh, for that I will select the edges on the edge here in a as in whoop, let's uh, click connect here just to get out of that mode so edges here we go and I want to convert that into poly so shift, uh, control and select this icon here now I want to make a nice ramp so for that I'm gonna enable soft selection and notice that I can now modify the radius with the B shortcut right that's B as in Bravo uh, and then I can move it up and down as such excellent and then I'll remove myself from the soft select good and last thing I'm gonna show is the quad draw that's something I also use pretty frequently uh, let's assume I have some polys missing here okay um, I used to think quad draw was problematic until I learned how to use it really uh, so uh, with that you wanna enable shift one two works really well
Okay, there's another uh, point there that we can remove, doesn't matter. And there we go. And assuming I want to add some more here, I can left mouse click as such. And then with shift, I can connect them. It's pretty nice. So you get the idea. And uh, that's about it for now. Thanks.